pacing is a bitch. Yep. <laughs> I never lived a life before I got poorly with chronic illness where I had to consider pacing to use a very limited energy reserve. Well, now I do. If I use too much energy, I collapse. So this morning, I'm telling you this with my really croaky, just woke up voice because I just made a decision based on pacing, which sucks. But also I know is the best thing for me. So I was offered to meet with someone who is a publisher. You know, really cool, exciting. Um, but on that same day, I have another commitment, a singing group in the afternoon that gives me a top up of connection with people, mental well-being connection and emotional hope. You know, like it may, it gives me hope, it gives me joy, it shifts my mood. I really need that right now. I need the top up. I need the recharging of my mental and emotional reserves. And I could um, meet with the publisher in the morning, go to the group in the afternoon. But then I know that it would use so much energy. I would then have days of repair. Um... And it's not even negative things, is it? Do you know what I mean? They're fun things, great things, you know. Oh my God, meeting with this person who might actually be able to help me and going to the group I love. But I still have payment. I still have to pay for that. I still have days of then um, extreme pain, fatigue, slurred words, drunk arms, not being able to open jars myself, not being able to put my own bra on, all that sort of stuff. So I've made a decision about pacing and I've told the publisher I can't meet with them and that I'll need to put that off and find another time next week. Oh. <laughs> It's really hard to put something like that on hold when I'm super excited about something and I really want to do something and old me would have jumped at it <laughs> straight away. It's really hard to have to slow myself down. It's really hard to have to go, not now, later. I've always been an impulsive person. I've always been someone who grabbed opportunities and did them right then and there. Can't do that now with this um, chronic illness life. But I'm proud of myself anyway. Alison, my OT, she'll be proud of me. I know she will. Because I just made a really grown-up decision. <laughs> so, yeah. Pacing's a bit, but it's necessary. And actually, it'll help me in the long run. And I suppose now I've become someone who thinks about the bigger picture. That's not a bad thing. Listen, Sue. Are you listening to yourself? It's not a bad thing. Anyway, hope you're all right this morning. Pace yourselves. Oh, listen to me being so bossy, dear me. Don't tell people what to do, Sue. Don't tell people what to do, Sue. I'm not telling you what to do. Well, I did just then, but I'm not now. <laughs> it's just a moment of growing. A moment of change in me that I felt like I'd like to share a change in mindset and a change in approach and one that just became real through an action I took. I can feel that I'm growing and levelling up. It's not a bad thing. Anyway, take care everybody. Bye.